Hello, in this video I will show you how to do trending design of this year, cheetah design. I will use DND gel polish number 662, gelish color called one piece or two, thin brush number one. But first we need to fix the crack on the side. As you can see it's rather small but if we will leave it like that, it will end up spreading and the whole nail might break. So first I apply dehydrator and then non-acid primer. I'm using the system by Gelish. Before that I did some dry manicure. Now I apply a thin coat of the base coat all over the nail, just like you usually do. Remember, when you apply base coat, it is not recommended to touch the skin or to apply it too thick. So first we apply it and then to fix the crack I will be using a regular cotton pad. To me this is the best method to fix cracks on the natural nails, especially if they are not too big. So I simply take the small amount of the cotton and place it only when the crack is located. With the orange wood stick I place it exactly on the area across the crack, apply a little more base coat, so all the cotton fibers will saturate with the base coat and then we can cure it in LED lamp for one minute. Then we need to apply another coat of the base coat and add a little more product to build the structure. If I didn't have to fix the crack, I would do the same. I always apply one thin layer first, cure it, and then with the second layer I build the structure, especially for almond and long nails, because this is how they will look better and also we will prevent them from breaking. So I add the structure, build the apex in the center. This is basically exactly what we do when we're working with the gel and cure it for one minute in LED. And after that I need to buff it. Normally we don't need to buff or file nails after applying the base coat, but here since I used this cotton pad on the side, it is not as smooth, so I also carefully file the side, shaping the nail and make sure that no parts of the cotton are going somewhere outside. And also I'm using a very light buffer, this is about 280 grit. And since we removed the sticky layer, now you need to buff the entire surface and you can also carefully shape the nail. But do not file the length too much, since we need to encapsulate the free edge. Then get rid of the dust and it is time to apply the color. So for the main color I chose the DND color and I apply it. This is my first time working with this brand and honestly I haven't heard much of it except from my friend Kisa, she highly recommended me to try this brand and you know what? I actually loved it. I mean I like the brush, I like the way it applies on the nail, I like the intensity of the color, it's pretty cool. For some reason I had them for a while but I wasn't really using them because I don't know, I just thought the packaging doesn't look too cool and I thought, you know, this is just another brand of the gel polish. But when I tried it, I actually do like it, so I definitely will be getting more of their colors in the future. And also I didn't want to do this traditional brown cheetah design, I wanted to try something different, so that's why I chose this lilac color. As you can see, even with one coat this color looks pretty cool, but I think we will be applying two coats on each nail, so it will look even better. I applied two coats of the color and cured them. 
it is time to do the spots. So I'm using gelish one piece or two, which is a darker color of the purple. And for some reason in the camera, it doesn't look as dark, but it is actually a lot darker than the background. So to do the cheetah spots, you need to make them different shape and size. Please do not make them like a perfect round oval dots and all exactly the same. They're always different. Some of them are small, some of them are big, some of them are like two dots connected together. So this is the key to make them look realistic. And then you can add a tiny dots in between. Then I do the same on another finger and we need to cure it for one minute. After that, I am using black. I forgot to show you, but this is my favorite black. This is Black Town Lincoln Car by Go Color NSI. This is black gel paint. It is very intense and very thick. Now I outline the spots on the bottom and on the top. So do not outline the whole spot because this is usually not how it works. You need to outline just small particles. And also do not try to make the black line perfectly thin and symmetrical. As you can see, sometimes it's wider, sometimes it's thinner. So actually to me this is one of the easiest design because it is basically an abstract design. You just do whatever you want and also make sure that the black lines, they're always from the same side. So if you decided to add black on the top and on the bottom, keep to this until you finish the design. And also I prefer not to cover the nail with the cheetah spots all over, just to do it like half-half. Then fully cure it for one minute in LED and the last step will be sealing it. So we did cheetah design only on two nails and also I added a little bit of the spots on the thumb. On pinky we decided to use the purple that I used for the spots, the darker color by Jellish. During last fashion week many designers showed so many cool ideas with this cheetah and other animal prints and I think you can use any color and it will still look really cool. Just imagine, pink cheetah, yellow cheetah, uh, purple, blue, I think they will all look pretty nice. So if you use gel polish, it usually do not add any volume, so you don't need to worry that the design will not be flat. So we simply apply a thin coat of the top to seal it all and then we cure it in LED lamp for one minute and here we go, the design is ready. Let me know guys what do you think and did you have clients who already asked you to do cheetah design this season? Thank you so much for watching, if this is your first time on my channel consider subscribing as I post new nail art tutorials just like this one every week. See you in my next video, goodbye!